it's Yvette, author, speaker, and clarity coach over at declutterist.com. Come walk with me. So um, I'm starting to lose my light this late, so I'm gonna have to s move up these clarity walks. I was getting so used to walking late because it was cooler, but the weather here in LA is getting cooler sooner and darker earlier. So um, I'm sure I'm gonna have to get out here a lot sooner than I've been because I'm losing my daylight. You guys aren't gonna be able to see me on my clarity walks. So, um, so what are we talking about today? Well, I wanted to wish you a happy peace day, International Peace Day. It's not today. I mean, technically it's every day, right? That's the goal. Um, officially, it's Saturday, International Peace Day, uh, September 21st. So I wish you one in advance. And I mean, that's the goal, right? Having peace, peace of mind, um, peace of heart, body, soul. Um, and really, what is peace? But but clarity and um, that connection to our inner divine, our authentic selves, our, um, our pure selves, right? Away from all the clutter. Um, that's really the goal. Let's go this way. Um, so yeah, I wish that for me and you because it's a daily process really. Um, and the only thing that really robs us of peace is not seeing the perfect in the present. Thinking we should be anywhere else but here. Anywhere else than where we are right now, physically or, and mentally. So we talked about imposter syndrome a couple weeks back, and that's really just thinking you're not enough. That's finding the imperfect in the present. That, that's saying, well, I should be elsewhere. I should be here. You know, um, wow, I thought I'd be further along than this. Or I thought I'd start my business by now. I thought I'd be a millionaire by now. I thought I'd live in a high rise in Bel Air by now. Whatever. Or I thought I'd have a family. Um, you know, whatever by now. You know, kids in a white picket fence, whatever your thing is, that's not reflecting where you are right now in its awesome beauty and perfection, then that's, that's robbing you of peace. That's saying that right now is not enough. Who you are, how you are, where you are, what you are, why you are is not enough. So, that's what we want to work on every day, right? Through our meditation, our yoga, um, our clarity walks, all those things we're, we're ultimate, ultimately working on, um, finding that peace with who we are right now, where we are right now, um, everything that we are right now. And, um, and, and ultimately, even deeper than that, it's, it's finding the peace in the I am, the I amness of where we are, um, where we come from, and all those things. So it's um, the I am of us. So rather than I am dot, 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 I am a nurse, I am a mother, I am a wife, I am a daughter, I am a teacher, I'm a business owner. All those things take away the, the peace and the clarity and the purity of who we are because we're starting to add labels and add clutter and add identity that needs to then be sustained and um, validated and um, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Valued, right? Given a, given a number, given a rank, um, given a dollar amount, right? My worth, my net worth all those things it's like instead of just the I am being perfect in every way and enough in every way it's the I am fill in the blank and if your I amness is not current is not present and you being okay with that then then of course there goes your peace you know I'm I'm not where I should be I should be further along or um, I should be living here I should be working there I should be doing this instead of that. 
right now I'm with my family and um, you know I'm sitting across from my grandma and I wish I was somewhere else or I'm sitting across from a date and I'm not present because I'm thinking about the date I had yesterday with so-and-so and I wish I was with him instead whatever the question or whatever the the conundrum the turmoil the mental battle that you're fighting against is robbing you of peace and so how can we come back to our peace how can we um, return to that that divine place within that clarity that enlightened place that I amness is enough um, well we start to make little strides in that direction we start to um, you know take a walk every day we start to meditate five minutes in the morning little things not don't overload yourself it's not necessary to jump from zero to a hundred miles per hour and think that well hundred is perfect so I've got to be there now what about ramping up and getting to that one mile per hour and just taking that baby step forward baby steps being like well yeah I'm gonna get on dating sites yeah I'm gonna start to work on my side hustle an hour every day I'm gonna get up earlier before the house is awake and I'm gonna start working on that thing. Or I'm gonna start reading more and I'm gonna read instead of watch TV at night. So 30 minutes before bed, I'm in my PJs under the covers reading a book, not TV on, you know. Um, I, I, I'm gonna start working out, putting my running shoes by my bed and getting up and actually going regardless of support buddy or not like I'll do this my myself I'll, I'll motivate myself so those little things that we can do to put one foot in front of the other and start to move in the direction of that peace because we can have the peace right now it's it's the peace in the present that we are ever gonna have that's all that we'll ever really feel is peace in the present peace with the present too so those little things those little moves forward will have you feeling like this is part of the journey and the journey is beautiful and the journey is part of this peace thing I seek so what what things can I do today to start to make me feel like whoa this life I'm living is full of purpose and promise and and um, power and what's another good P word peace <laughs> passion a lot of good P words huh so just start to move in that direction and and on this this note of like starting at zero and letting zero be where you start and not being not being intimidated by those who have started zero a long time ago and now they're at whatever because there's always a zero there's always a leveling up that we all kind of chase um, so what they're at zero in their mind for something so you just kind of we're all at zero we're all working towards something in this life and that's the beauty of it and so if you can be okay with your zero then I encourage you to take that step forward that baby step forward one thing that I've been doing is working with creative entrepreneurs um, and I've kind of been telling you guys that recently um, because I've started to niche down to work with creative entrepreneurs because as creators, we are all creators, um, there's this, there's a, such a strength in knowing who you are and we're all really creative people. So if you're an entrepreneur and you desire to create something from nothing, a book business, a blog business, um, a social media influence business, a speaking business, a podcast business, whatever your expression of your creativity is, then I want to support you. I want to encourage you because that's who I've been working with and I'm just like, oh wow, I should probably put a name to this. Um, and so that's what, that's why I'm like, you know what, that's, that's who I'm working with. So um, really, really fascinating stuff coming through with, with working with these groups of individuals and it's really um, showing me like, okay, this is, there's, creatives don't have to go through so much of a struggle. We don't have to go through the emotional roller coaster of, you know, seeking validation, not getting it, getting it, not getting it, getting it, not getting it. And it's just this, you know, we're, our, happiness is contingent on what other people critics say about our work 
doesn't have to be that way. So, um, and, and not even, and by critics, I don't just mean like the entertainment industry. I'm talking about legitimately the people who read our stuff, um, our prospective customers who support us and approve of our stuff by putting down money. So it all runs the gamut. It all falls under that creativity. And I have a free download for you. It's a, it's a roadmap and it's gonna help you start at your zero, refine and get clear on your zero, your starting point, and take the launch forward. Take that leap into the fear, um, and past the fear, and past the learning curves, and get inspired again and get clear on that direction forward so that you can start to take those baby steps and start to feel like I'm not leaving my purpose and my passion on the back burner every day because I'm just going to this nine to five job or whatever, doing something I don't love to do. Whatever it is, whatever is your story, starting to clean up that story and say, I'm working on my side thing every, an hour every day. So this is how you do it. This is how you find that order and that system and that simplicity to fit in the side hustle in your daily routine um, and start to make some forward momentum. So it's the idea to impact roadmap and it's free and I'm gonna share it with you. Um, I'll put the link right here. So definitely download that. I wanna encourage you guys to move forward. Um, what else? I think that's it. If you like this, click to share it with your friends. Double tap, give it some likes, some love, and I will see you next week. That's it, over and out. Happy International Peace Day. Peace.